Hi, it's Jev. I'm here to teach you how to not die to Lacorix or Lacroix. So, um, best of luck, everyone. Uh, what's it? Focus orbs. Okay, focus orbs, guys. He's gonna spawn some more. You hear that? That's the sound of a panicked RL. You never panic, man. Come on. I think. I don't know where they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Focus the orbs. So in this first phase, he's going to be shooting out triangle silencing shots. They're really easy to dodge just by dodging left and right. Uh, bottom right. I'm already shooting myself. Focus the coin bottom right. The coins that he's talking about are these suns. They will slowly inch towards Lacorix, and if they reach him, he will say something along the lines of complete light. But we'll get to that later. So in this next phase, he'll begin to shoot yellow and blue tentacles. It can be a bit disorienting, but do not fear, because there is a safe spot for this phase specifically. On the ground is a T-shaped marking. If you stand at where those lines are intersecting, you won't get hit by the tentacles. But you may still take some sickening shots, so be wary of that. Oh, we need to stop we need to stop them from So from what I could tell, a sun reached him and he is now in complete light. He will start shooting paralyzed stars from behind him going forward along with sunbeams in rows coming towards you as well. Here's how you deal with that. As far back as you can go without stepping into the knives, there is a spot where sunbeams don't reach, making it very easy to only dodge the paralyzed shots and sickening shots. The paralyzed shots don't deal that much damage and can even be tanked with an M seal if you want to keep the group together. Reaching in, aren't we? Oh, this is fucking shit, son. See that? The sunbeams stop right here. There is no need to panic in this phase either, as he is invulnerable from all the vitamin D he just consumed a second ago. Okay, I died. <laughs> How do you do oh, that? Um, I can't see anything. And we need to focus the coins, guys. In this phase, which I like to call Pentagon, Lacorix throws out five Chaos Balls, which deal AoE damage on impact and summon a smaller Chaos Ball that explodes into a hexagon of armor piercing 100 damage that does not pierce players. While he's doing this, he is also shooting the Silence Triangle towards the nearest player, so it's a good idea to get a trickster to decoy those shots away. He also throws out an AoE damaging yellow shot, but that doesn't do a lot of damage, so you don't gotta worry about that. The way you counter this attack is to push up to him while he is decoyed and shooting those triangle silent shots away from the group, and to keep an M seal placed while priests and, other, and any other healing classes keep the group healed. Do bear in mind that he is still summoning suns from the blue banners placed around the room. Diverse your damage throughout accordingly. Are you damage rule? He's no longer damageable. Ow. Oh, this is very yikes. Damage. Never mind. Careful. Yep. This phase again. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. I nexus. You can damage. Uh, coin, well, right side, get the coin. Oh, we're getting fucked again. Good luck, everyone. Alright, good luck. Alright. This is what I like to call boomerang. Lacorix will shoot out these boomerang shots from where he is standing, and you guessed it boomerang back towards him. You can push up here, but do be careful because these shots deal a lot of armor piercing damage. Such a Ooh, get ready to get get ready to kill the coin. Uh where is it? Bottom right? This is what I like to call paralyzed stars. Lacorix will shoot out these paralyzed stars towards the player. These shots paralyze and behave in the exact same manner as the complete light paralyzed stars. You can back up or tag with M seal. If you do back up, there's a small space that you can fit through when they branch out far enough. Uh, there's one bigger coin which you have to stop every time. I don't know where it is. 
think we can damage for now. It's on the right. On the right? We can still damage the wall, so I don't think there's a counter. Oh, I'm almost dead. It's so difficult to see yourself. Just remember where you were. Uh, right side, right side, right side, right side. Nice, good job, guys. Uh, bottom left. Point. Um, thanks for the peers, guys. You are actually in the peers. This is fine. Once you know what you're doing, this is fine. Yeah. Uh, except I don't know what I'm doing. Yes. Uh, right side for me. Nice. Oh, did we not get it? I don't like this at all. And like it you should not, because it's only going to get harder from here. Ow. Okay, so this is basically... Alright, so a lot has happened. He hit 1 fourth HP and has moved to the middle of the room where he now begins his second phase. Let's evaluate this real quick. He has moved to the middle of the room and there are now four candelabras. He starts by shooting sunbeams in an octagon further and further away from him while also shooting out armor-piercing silencing shots. The candelabras shoot three horizontal paralyzed shots inwards towards the corix, while also shooting out three waves of four high-damaging, sickening shots outward. There are two ways you can go about this phase because it does not stop until you push him to his next phase. One, Play outward if you're a ranged character to dodge the sickens and silences. Or two, play inward where you rotate with the shots while also dodging the silences. I'd only recommend that if you're playing a melee. I recommend you playing outward because it's more easier to dodge that way and you have more time to react to shots. I also recommend playing on the top side of the Corix because when he enters his next phase, he will move to the bottom side of the room. Sit back and relax, I guess. Do keep in mind there are still suns that are inching towards him. If one gets too close to him in his second phase, he will go into what I like to call whole wheat phase, because he says whole. In this phase, he summons a lot of sunbeams while also doing tentacles in a clockwise manner. There's a bit technical way that I found out which you can safe spot this, and I'll explain it in a little bit. For me. So, if you are to stand on the rug right here, when the first wave of tentacles comes towards you, you will not get hit by them. They will go around you. Then, you're going to wait for the third set of sunbeams to come down, and you're going to go forward. At least, like, three or four tiles in front of Lacorix. You still may only take one or two shots from the tentacle, but it's better than taking four sunbeams to the face. Uh, you want to stay close to the bulls here, I think. Stay in his inner circle, rotate side to side. A uh, big coin coming in. So you guys can get it. I think we're gonna get the counter. Oh, uh, so this is the counter here. Yeah, so this goes on for some time, and I'm just gonna fast forward it until he goes into his third phase. I don't know what's going to happen now. Oh, is that the 
Oh no, 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 no. Something seemed familiar about this? Because it should be. So what changed about him now? Well, almost nothing. The faces are exactly the same as they were in the first half of the battle, but now he's a different color. There are very small details to point out, but none that are too important. If you know how to do the first and second phase, then you can definitely do the third and fourth phase. Am I dead? Oh, I'm dead. I just had a major lag spike. I don't know if you guys saw on stream, but that was fucking scary. Oh, this is fucking yikes, man. Good luck with the run. I'm gonna go off. More yeah. Like we need a no, like the, the the one where like the the counter. First of all, you have to prevent that if you don't know how it works. Um, but the like the first phase is quite easy. Like you just weave back and forth, in basically a, a square fashion. Um. So he shoots paralyzed shots and the, the things that um, explode, they have a timer. Like you see the timer, if the, the inner circle moves outward, once, it's reaching, once it reaches the fuller uh, outer circle, it pops and it damages. Um, so if you don't get paralyzed, um, you can easily dodge those. So, um, yeah, uh, that's, how you, that's how you deal with the counter. But. Uh, we should just focus the coins and not let the counter happen. Basically. That boss is a joke, what the hell? Yeah. Oh, I could see if I can bring bar in, to be honest. I think I can bring a bar. Good luck. 